Good morning, boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you Emma's Pet by David McPhail. You might remember that I have a daughter named Emma, and she loved this story when she was a little girl. Can you guess why? Let's begin. Emma's Pet. I want a pet, Emma told her mother one day. You have a pet, said her mother. Fluffy's not cuddly, said Emma. I want a big, soft, cuddly pet. So Emma went looking for a pet. The first thing she found was a bug. Even Emma couldn't say that was cuddly. The mouse she found was soft and cuddly, but it wasn't big. The bird had nice soft feathers, but it was too busy feeding its family to be anybody's pet. The frog wasn't soft and cuddly, but it might have made a good pet. If it hadn't taken a bath with Emma's mother. The snake she picked up was too cuddly for Emma. Then she got a fish. But that was too wet and slippery. And the dog she brought home already belonged to someone else. Emma was sad. She sat down on a rock and began to cry. The rock moved. It was a turtle. But it wasn't any softer or any more cuddly than a rock. And then Emma saw the biggest, softest, cuddliest thing she had ever seen. What do you suppose it is? Hmm, find out. It was her father. <laughs> he is big, soft, and cuddly. Will you be my pet? She asked. Always, said her father. Will you be mine? Yes, said Emma. And she hugged her new, big, soft, cuddly pet. And it hugged her right back. The end. This story comes with a giant hug from your teacher. Until next time.